good afternoon. I am Kyle from Grid for Penguins. My friends and teachers all call me KB. Take a wild guess why. From playing basketball, the GOAT, greatest of all time, Kobe Bryant. Zetterman. I mean, Kyle Bryant. To me, the idea of renewal is not simply just a concept, but it's a way of life. As described by our school model, the itinerant is the twilight, the sun glows and the moon luminous it. Today, I would like to inspire everyone to internalize and practice the concept of renewal as I have done through playing basketball. Renewal is, is about growth and improvement. It is a process of constantly reinventing ourselves, striving to become better versions of who we are. In, uh, in the context of basketball, it means working hard to enhance our skills. I realize the need for growth and improvement when my team is consistently losing. Inspired by my favorite basketball player, Kobe Bryant, I embarked on the path of renewal, focusing on enhancing my shooting proficiency. I dedicated myself to practicing shooting drills every day and refining my form, accuracy, and consistency. By investing time and effort, I made a significant progress in my shooting technique. Renewal matters because it, it, it enables us to unlock our full potential. Just like the sun glows and the moon luminous, we have an incredible capacity for growth. In basketball, when we become better shooters, we can score more points for our team. We will step up when the team needs us the most. Beyond the basketball court, renewal applies to our education and personal development. It is a field that propels us forward, enabling us to achieve greatness. For example, whenever I persuasive paragraphs for my English class, my teachers meticulously check my writing by circling verbs here under, and underlining ideas there that need more explanation. I take their recommendations and make changes. I, we do this multiple times before I am finally allowed to write the final draft. We do this for two reasons. First, on the surface, to make my writing more structurally complete and logical. Digging deeper, we are developing and practicing the skill of doing something carefully and meaningfully, not simply finishing a task. Once we have mastered this, we not only increase the possibility of doing well academically, but also in whatever we choose to do in our lives. So how can we embrace renewing in our lives? Here are some few suggestions. First, set goals. Identify specific skills we want to improve on. Write them down and create a plan to work it on daily. Remember, one step at a time. Second, seek guidance. Reach out to family members, friends, classmates, or teachers. Like Confucius said, when three people walk together, there must be one person who could be my teacher. Stay humble and stay curious. Third, embrace challenges. Step out of our comfort zone. Don't be afraid to make any mistakes, for there are opportunities to let us learn and grow. Remember, the path to renewal is not always smooth, but it is worth the effort. Fourth, stay motivated. Surround ourselves with inspiration by reading success stories. These experiences will keep our passion alive and fuel our desire for renewal. So, with this in mind, I would like to share a Chinese saying. Learning is like growing upstream. If you do not advance, you will retreat. This quote reminds us that renewal is not a passive process, but an active one. It is a lifelong journey. Our school model and this quote reminds us of the dynamic and transformative nature of our educational journey. Shakespeare once wrote, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. It is poetic and often true, especially in the Hollywood movies. But in real life, I believe that renewal and the pursuit of excellence is what separates the greatness from the ordinary. Thank you.